and tell me, you know, what you think. But let's get into the, and you saw it before I changed back to it, the few options that we have. And these are not all the options. This is just a graphic I want to put up, like what to do at 22. So I'm going to give you some names out there that I think are possibilities. And then if you call in, you can, you know, kind of rebuttal who I say, or you can put in the chat box what you think. So I'm going to go through a list of names. I'm going to give you some offensive names and I'm going to give you some defensive names. Obviously, the offensive names will be. Obviously, the offensive names will be receivers, and then the defensive names will be cornerbacks. So uh, let's run through my list, and I got it on my whiteboard beside me. Offensively, Zay Flowers. You see him on the on the board up there, number four from Boston College. Um, a lot of people don't know about Zay because he's decided to stay at, at Boston College, and they didn't have the greatest of offenses, but he was, he was the man of the family, so he needs to stay close and handle his business. But dude is very, very underrated. Uh, he has – pretty much everything you want in a receiver he's not he's not one of the tall guys but he's a he's a thick bill guy kind of like um Tyreek and he's he not as fast as Tyreek but he can do he can run routes he can he can catch the ball he can go up and pluck it he can block don't mind blocking he, he just does it all but you just don't know a lot a lot of people don't know a lot about him because he stayed at BC BC getting head bashed in and <laughs> he just circumstance just the circumstance uh, next up, Jordan Addison. And you see Jordan Addison right there with the USC on. But really, his last year at Pittsburgh with, with small hands picket is what got him numbers. He had a great year with, with small hands picket and uh, transferred to USC with, when Lincoln Riley went out there and didn't have the greatest of years, didn't have a bad year also. But that year with Pittsburgh last year, demon, certified demon. Next up, Josh Downs, North Carolina. Another smaller guy that uh, has great athletic measurables, uh, great vertical, great route running, uh, great hands. He's just short. He's just short. He kind of reminds me of a of a slower Jalen Waddle, because you know Waddle has that that huge that huge vertical, uh, great hands. You know he's short, but he can play like a big guy. And that's that's Josh Downs. Josh Downs had like a seventy some percent catch uh, contested catch rate, and that's crazy for a guy that's. You know, smaller of statue, not like a six two, six three, six four guy. Uh, next up, one of my personal favorites, Jalen Hyatt. Jalen Hyatt is a dude I think that could come in and be a a piece to the puzzle that can blow the top off of defenses that will eventually help whoever works the underneath routes. And with that being said, that could be Odell, that could be Mark, that could be um, Bateman. But you know, also Bateman can do the over top stuff too. High it could be a guy that make you have to stay in too high. That would benefit the run game also. They benefit the run game also. And another last night offensive name I'm gonna throw out there is we all want a big receiver, and that's Johnston from TCU. Again, he was widely said to be the best wide receiver draft. I'm sorry, the best wide receiver choice in his draft. Uh, I didn't see it, but I didn't watch a lot of college football. But I finally got to see him versus whoever they played in the semifinal game. I think Michigan. And I was watching the game and really, you know, half hearted, like, man, this can't be the best receiver. And then he caught the little shallow route and give a, gave a little hezzy to one of the Michigan DBs and then cribbed that thing. So I was like, oh, okay. Now I see what they were talking about. And then I went back and watched film. And so I don't think he's the best receiver in the draft, but he's one of the guys up there. And obviously, I didn't say JSN because he's not going to be here. Didn't say a few of the other guys because I don't think they're going to be there at 22. Uh, defensively, uh, Joy Porter Jr. Penn State, number nine on your screen right there. Lockdown guy. Lengthy, I think like 6'3". Somebody that can can play man, can can get better at, at, at zone, and, and is really a, a dog. Really, really a dog. Uh, next up is Cam Smith from the other USC, which is South Carolina. That's number nine up there. Another long guy. Uh, extremely good in man. We, we'll have to work to get better in zone, but, you know, if you can play man, we, we can teach you zone. It, it don't work the other way. <laughs> If you can't play man, if you can play zone and not man, you can't really teach a man. <laughs> man got to be instinctive. Sometimes you're going to get beat, but you got to have that mentality of next play, next play. Um, Emmanuel Forbes from Mississippi State, another long guy. So that's three long corners right there that could potentially match up with those some of those taller receivers that are now starting to flood the NFL. Uh, Ringo, Keely Ringo from UGA, another fast guy, another SEC kid, another tough man-to-man -to -man corner. That again, you can put in his own situations at some times, but you you know you can't teach man. You gotta have you can teach some technique, 
but you really got to have it or you don't. And lastly, a kid that a lot of people, a lot of Ravens flocks been throwing out to me, um, Banks from Maryland. So um, one of the fast guys, I think he, if I'm not mistaken, he ran a 4-3 at the combine because uh, they had two guys that, that blazed the same day almost back to back. And um, he'd be a guy that get people in seats. Uh, I don't know if he is a first round talent guy, but he definitely get people in seats and he get the flock buzz. You know, the, the whole flock have a buzz about him, which is kind of what the Ravens are trying to do right now because everybody's been beating them down, beating them down, beating them down. So they kind of need some some good PR with bringing certain people in to, to kind of turn that fan base back in their favor. Now, the whole fan base not out of their favor, but I'm just saying, just saying. So with that being said, those are my picks. Got a few people on the line, so let me get myself up here, get those guys out of there, and then see if we can work these phone lines.